all right guys welcome back to clownfish tv live how you guys doing hopefully you can you can see us and i'm gonna apologize in advance we have a fan running in the studio because it's very hot it's hot it's very hot it's summer it's very spicy plus very it kind of drowns out the dog barking it's yeah it does of, um so yeah we decided to do kind of a i guess i don't know like an emergency live stream basically following up on it's not an emergency live stream. It's just, you just didn't want to edit videos. I didn't want to edit the video. <laughs> so. But there's a lot to talk about, too. There's there's a lot to unpack here because Disney is being Disney and they're going into uh, hyperdrive, apparently, to get rid of all uh, white voice actors from non-white roles. Uh, Including uh, creatures, animals... And like, you know, like objects or, you know, robots or whatever the hell else. Um, if, if, if you think that they are not white, uh, white people will not be voicing them because, you know, that's not racist at all to, you know, assume a race about things that don't have race. I, I just I, I'm I'm seriously like I can't face palm any harder. I I, I just I, I don't know. This just think is... about the face in front of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. So <laughs> we've been talking about this for the last week or so because there there is a tendency ever since we had I think it was Jenny Slate step down volunteer I believe voluntarily from from Big Mouth. Uh, then there's been this this push in Hollywood to make sure that everyone stays in their own lane. If you're a voice actor, you have to uh, only voice your your color. That's it. You can only voice characters that look like you. But you know, here's what the kicker is. You know it's not going to work in reverse. Because if that's the case, and you have to make sure that you change all these things on the attractions and stuff, which we'll talk about that rumor in a minute. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing with the Little Mermaid? Um, th uh, As a redhead, I'm um, just saying. Well, okay. So what are, what are they, what are they going to do about... Uh, and this is what gets me. Like, I understand... Uh, the desire for more authenticity going forward. I, I get that. But they're talking about going back and re-recording audio from older That's just it. Yeah. Like I said, legacy, even legacy... Uh, legacy characters. Are not off limits. So, yeah, this is an issue. I, I can't even... Like, this just blows my mind. Again, I, I can understand going forward saying, hey, let's think about this a little bit more. I cannot, I cannot fathom going back and re-recording audio for characters from 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Um, and that seems to be what's going on here. So anyway, uh, we're going to talk about this rumor. This does explain a lot because I did a video late last night about um, how Mike Henry, the voice actor of Cleveland from Family Guy, uh, got gone. He supposedly stepped down. I don't think he stepped down. I think he was, he was this is part of the Disney mandate. Mm -hmm. I think this is a company-wide thing. I think because Fox is owned by Disney now. Mm -hmm. So I think they're like, yep, you're out the door. And uh, all of the uh, white voice actors doing non-white characters on The Simpsons. Yeah, you're out the door. Um, yeah, everybody's everybody's gone. So this is the rumor. I uh, should pull it up on the, the source. Um, I have. Yeah, well, you can go to the source after you read the quote on here. I have it on here, the quote, and then we'll go to the source. Uh, it was on WDW Magic's... Uh, Forums. A couple mm. of these things we're going to be talking about were, and it's WW Pro, which has been right more often than he, they, he or she hasn't been, even though salty people and salty penguins want to disagree. But here's what they said. So file this one under things I can't believe I'm actually having to report. And due to this, that disclaimer, let me also preface what I'm going to tell you by saying this is not parody or satire. This is actually real. Due to a Disney-wide mandate, no white person may be the voice of any characters of color or any fantastical creatures that may represent a character of color. Therefore, Disney Parks is performing an audit of all audio recordings for attractions, shows, and experiences with the requirement that they remove and re-record any audio performed by a white person for any character that may be a, rep may be a representation of a person of color. This includes Maybe. animals, because obviously, mythical mm. beasts, and any other character, not just human depictions. So other things that don't have race associated with them are still going to be racist. Legacy recordings and actors are not exempt from these changes. Due to the scope of the evaluation, Disney Parks has been given six months to complete the full audit in order to begin hiring new voice actors to record new lines. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Molly. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. Sending lots of love. And I hate the heat, says someone who's black and grew up in a predominantly black city. There aren't many blacks who have an interest in voice acting or acting in general, at least at the time being. Well, the, here's the thing that's weird. And we've talked about this in previous videos. We're going backwards, man, because back in the 80s, uh, a lot of white characters were actually black or voiced by black 
actors. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, we had you know Penny from Inspector Gadget was a uh, black actress. We had uh, Rainbow Bright was black. Um, well, here's my next question. When does it end? Because um, Disney himself has been labeled problematic. So are they going to tear down the Disney statue? Are they going to rename the company to something else and not lo no longer call it Disneyland, Walt Disney World, the Disney Company? Because, uh, you know, people have problems with Disney now. So are, we, what, are they going to change? Where does the line get drawn? I, I don't think I think you give a mouse a cookie. Uh, no pun intended. And mm -hmm. it just keeps on happening. Uh, Fox would think you didn't have to do that. We live in a society. I, I can't believe this. I Again, I completely understand uh, going forward. Going if, forward, if yes. They, so, okay, so here's my question. Adina Menzel, Elsa, she's not Norwegian. Right? She's, she's right. Jewish. Hey, she's people, the voice Incredibles aren't superheroes. I mean, what the heck, people? How dare you? This is this is insane. Uh, Josh Leak, thank you, didn't have to do that. Does this mean... Uh, they have to get furries to voice animals now. Is Hollywood falling that far? Have the left wing orcs gain that much power? Apparently. Um, and now this is just a rumor right now, but I we're totally seeing it. I, yeah, we already saw it starting with um, with with Fox. Yeah. Uh, so I do completely believe it's true. I love the fact that they can't pay their people and their cast members fairly. They can't pay them and help them out during the shutdowns because they have to save money because the company's in trouble. They have to do all that stuff. They can't pay their shareholder dividends like they're supposed to because they have no money. But they're going to have money to have these all recast and re-recorded. They'll have money for that. This is this is overcompensation because of Jimmy Kimmel. I'm telling you, that's what this whole thing. Blame Jimmy Kimmel. I think because of Jimmy Kimmel's uh, uh, unearthed, uh, you know, blackface routine. Now all of a sudden, for some reason in Hollywood, this week, this week's flavor is we've decided that uh, white actors playing black cartoon roles is literally blackface right and here's the kicker it's not going to work in reverse we all know this it's not going to be if you are not white you cannot voice white characters oh hell no that won't that won't be with uh, you know that won't be upheld you know damn well that won't be upheld but if you are you know a person of color um you're only allowed to represent you you can represent whatever but white people can only represent white people and you know that's what's going to happen well what's going to happen is it is and i saw a comment here and it's zing by pretty quick but it's going to hurt everybody and i've talked about this yeah before. it is going to hurt everybody uh ftm 22 thank you didn't have to do that thank you for speaking the truth i renew you thank you um okay so Here's where it's going to hurt everybody because voice acting has been colorblind for decades. Like I said, even back in the 1970s, 1980s, we had black folks voicing white characters, Asian characters, Asian people voicing white people. It was all over the place, right? Everybody could, anybody could be anybody. And, um,. Uh, yeah, I do think it's the Apu. Yeah, uh, did you mention that uh, the other day on your video? I did. Um, and did you mention who the producer of that was? No, because it actually wasn't the guy I thought it was. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. No. I um, thought it was the same person. We'll, we'll, we'll like... talk about that. But but yeah, so this is going to hurt everybody because what's going to happen is you're going to have to stay in your own lane. No, And we had you know voice actors like Cree Summer, a black woman who played a lot of white roles, saying she loved voice acting because it didn't matter. She could She could try out for roles that she could never get because of how she looked and even actors that are getting older they can play younger characters now right like i said like they, like they said you were talking about an example it's like say you have abraham lincoln for example you're gonna have to find a very specific actor to play that yeah. part but with if it's an animated you could have anybody play the part um they don't have to be a certain height and be a certain build and have a certain accent and look a certain color and they don't have to that was what was so great about voice acting and quite frankly nobody gave a shit about who voiced what character most yeah. people didn't care. It was totally irrelevant, and it didn't flip and matter. So now what's going to happen is everyone's going to have to stay in their own lane. I think you're going to have studios being gun-shy about the casting, about, and then it's going to trickle down to not just the casting, but who we have working on the show. Instead of having some folks on the show and being like, look, you know, we've got a diverse group of people who can, you know, we can bounce ideas off of or whatever. It's going to be like, well, we don't want to go there because we don't have the right combination of personnel D for this diversity show. Diversity is going to end up being what they said was she was diverse, which is all female writers room. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be an all certain race room, all certain, you know, gender, whatever. It's going to be so, you know, they're going for diversity 
diversity, but by, uh, by saying they want diversity, they're completely doing the antithesis of what diversity is. Yeah. You want to read these real quick? Yeah. So Private Halo, thank you to have do that. Is it true they're going to shut down Disneyland again in Orlando? Uh, I've been hearing a lot from my we'll friends. We'll talk about that in a few We're minutes. We're going to talk about it because it's, it's getting bad down there, the uh, the coronavirus cases, and they already shut the bars down. Uh, Jeff Hill, thank you didn't have to do that. I'm curious, why does it matter who voice acts a cartoon character? It's a cartoon. You're never going to see the person unless I can see it if it was live action, but it's a cartoon. Um, yeah, that's it. And again, I'll, this is going to hurt everyone because, you know, now everybody's going to have to pause. Every, every time you go out for a role, the first thing they're going to do is look at you. Before, they used to just listen to you. Mm -hmm. Is your voice the right voice? for this character it doesn't matter who you are what gender you are what age you are what and color I think you in are in the last few years they've been doing better about trying to make sure people were cast for yeah. roles that that more fit what you know so they were they weren't they were being more diverse but my next thing i want to say about disney real quick is disney stop flipping listening to twitter okay that's your first thing you gotta do is stop listening to twitter it was such a shit show you wouldn't even buy the damn company but you're gonna listen to twitter to tell you what to do uh, because they're Twitter. I mean, this doesn't make any sense to me. It's so bad you won't touch a 10-foot pole, but you're going to listen to them. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, Twitter's Twitter's toxic. Uh, will Jasmine and Aladdin be forced to apologize? No, Jasmine and Aladdin are going to be recast because they said, if this is true, if this rumor is true, they're going to go back even to classic well, characters. Well, I think it's, right now it's just for attractions and stuff. It's in the parks for you now. Wait. You wait. With Disney going back and changing things that are problematic, I, I can... Look, I can almost guarantee that they're going to go back and be like, yeah, you know what we need to do? We need to redub uh, Aladdin. We need to redub Pocahontas. Um, now, where does it end, though? Because it, it starts with the voice actors and then it gets down to the artists, too, and the creators, the directors. The Princess and the Frog was directed by two white guys and the music was done by a white guy. The Black Panther was created by two white guys at Marvel Comics. Mm hmm. You know, so at what point do you say, look, we got it like we, we this is as far as we go with this, you know, and I, again, I'm all for diversity and inclusion going forward, thinking about things a little bit more. That's fine. But when you're talking about going back and uh, retconning everything you've ever done to, to be current year to, to suit to suit current Twitter, year, which could be different in two or three two years. years from now, it might be totally different to suit Twitter after the election. It'd probably be totally different. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, that's what it's it about. just blows my mind. And I have to wonder if a lot of shareholders aren't even going to be like, what the hell are you spending money on this for, Disney? You're flat well, ass as broke. As shareholders, what the hell are you spending money on this for, Disney? If you're flat ass broke and can't give out, uh, you know, shareholder dividends, what the hell? So, um, you know, just saying. Okay, so anyway, um, about this was on, this is one of the rumors they had on there. Um, are you going to talk? Are you going to say something else? Or? Uh, yeah, we had another. Oh, hey, Fresher Luke, how you doing? Uh, what are your thoughts on how far this progressive seppuku will go, both the media and society as a whole? What do you see being the end game? The end game is, I think, Hollywood is going to blow itself up. Well, that, if we're lucky. I mean, I really do. Uh, you know, if we're lucky. Because here's the thing. I mean, you, no matter how much you, you change, it's never enough. It's like when you apologize. No matter how much you Doesn't apologize, matter. it's never enough. No Doesn't matter, matter how much it changes, it's never going to be enough to some of these extreme people. And what the kicker is, most of the people screaming about it are probably white people. I mean, if we're going to be honest. No, what's, I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I can, I'm white. I can say whatever the hell I want to about white people, right? Um, I'm telling you, it's, it's a bunch of crazy-ass, uh, purple-haired white women. Probably. I don't have enough screeching drinks about it. I don't yeah, have I alcohol know. today, damn I know. it. I know. I uh, know. Screeching about it. And isn't that kind of uh, racist for a bunch of white people to be making decisions on behalf of all black people everywhere? Well, I just want to know why. You know? I think it's kind of like if you're assuming an animal, a, 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 a myth mythical beast or an inanimate object is black, I'm just like, um... Is there something wrong? It's like the orc argument. Is there something wrong with you that that's your first go-to? Well, then, that, that, okay, so they pulled down an episode of Community because uh, Chang, they, they said it was blackface. He was dressed as a, a drow. Yeah. So he had the black, but that's what they look like. And, you know, Shirley, who's, you know, completely uppity, makes a comment about being, you know, kind of tasteless. But that was the joke was he was, it was an innocent thing for him. And he actually was a drow. He wasn't doing anything wrong. But that's what she saw was it being. Right. Uh, and she's the one who's got a problem with everything, you know, on the show. Um, Fixie Clary, thank you, didn't have to do that. Jordan Peterson said that you can tell when the right goes too far. There's no way to see it when the left does it. I don't know. Uh, Jonathan Rodriguez, uh, it's going to hurt all of us. I became an actor to be different people. Now I can only do one type of role. Yeah. So I'll be typecast. That's what I'm yes, afraid Yes, exactly. It's going to hurt everyone. I 100% agree with you, Jonathan. Well, let's let's look at this. Because I've noticed, because I was talking about Cree Summer. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about uh, Phil Lamar, who's awesome. We had breakfast with Phil Lamar. He's, he's a nice guy. 
Um, I'm looking at their roles 10, 15 years ago compared to what they're doing now. And it does look like they're getting more typecast. Mm -hmm. Just armchair observation, most of Phil Lamar's roles uh, lately have been black guys. Most of Cree Summers' roles have been black women before they were playing everything and everybody, right. you know? So yeah, is it going to hurt people? Yeah, because people are going to be afraid, I think, to to cast outside of their the lane that they're in right because right now the people are just saying they're mad about white people but when but then when does it become they're mad about hispanic people or they're mad about asian people or they're mad about you know black people what are they gonna what is it gonna be that they're mad about somebody else and then they, then they have to be typecast too all it's doing is limiting it for so many people it's it's gonna hurt a lot of people but they don't care well then what's gonna happen too is the anime industry the dub industry is gonna be completely decimated because that'll be the next thing we got all these non-asian actors Give, doing dub voices for Asian yeah, characters. Yeah, maybe some of these actors shouldn't have been so worried about Vic Mignogna. They should be worried about keeping their damn job because they're not <laughs> Asian and they're voicing Asian characters. Yeah, and that's black How and dare white. they? That's black, How dare they? That's black, white, Hispanic. We've got black, white, Hispanic folks uh, voicing Asian characters. That'll probably change. That'll be the next outrage. Like, how dare you? How dare you? Um, it's so because Tom Hanks didn't have AIDS. Take away his Oscar, right? It's like it's ridiculous. Hey, I'm a redhead, and they're they're gonna make the Little Mermaid. Well, they give her red hair. I'm I, I'm not. I don't really care as long as she has red hair. But they're gonna probably they're they're probably not gonna give her red hair, and they're making her you know a, a person of color, and you know that's okay. You can do that, but you know I can't voice a character unless they're you know white and ginger. Um, Elvick says that Phil Lamar said something stupid. Yeah, people said Phil Lamar was getting kind of. He was trying to dodge it because he was Samurai Jack and he mm -hmm. had some other white roles too. But you got to, you know, Phil Lamar, he doesn't want to get canceled. No, he doesn't. You He's going to do what he can do to save himself. Right. I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, you know, agreeing with whatever he's saying. I'm just saying you got to realize a lot of these voice actors now are going to do everything they can do to save themselves because I do think everybody is going to be hurt. I think the roles are going to dry up for everyone and you're only going to be able to stay in your own lane. And that's, that's dangerous. That That's, that's not going to work for a lot of people uh molly thank you it's getting so weird and scary orwell's 1984 it starts with speech and expression yep that's what we were talking about um, earlier today um there's another one if you go down another comment i think oh <laughs> shelby thank you to have do that the recasting of lion king 19 uh was black that's racist yeah I mean, they, they, they did it because it's supposed to be in africa but you know what there's a lot of white people in africa too and yeah i always forget that yeah it's uh, look and again this is what happens there's always like there's always a good motivator, not always, but there's often a good motivator, a good motivation, a good intent behind- A good intent is what you think you're looking for. Uh, behind bad actions. But they it gets taken too far. It gets taken too far. And this is just Disney. Again, I'm telling you, this is them freaking the fuck out yeah, that's because of Jimmy Kimmel. I think it's Jimmy Kimmel. I think that's what this whole thing's about. Like, well, you know what? We're going to save Jimmy Kimmel. We're going to let him lay low for three or four months, but we're going to cancel all these other cartoon people because you don't give a shit about them anyway. There's more comments. And then oh, okay. we'll talk about some other stuff here. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, Sonic wasn't an actual hedgehog. No, Sonic no, was how Urkel. How dare they? Urkel back in the 80s, right? Or 90s. I can't... Where would I go here? Oh, here we go. Wow, there's a bunch. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Shelby. Um, Crispy Critters. Karens are trying to bring back segregation. I don't know, man. Well, a lot of scary. people are trying to bring back segregation. It's a freaky thing. Um, XYZ Rob Zombie. What hurts me the most is the VA for Cleveland did everything right. He checked. Yeah, he did. He actually did. He checked with his diverse writers and co-workers. He listened and made a respectful character. Black people uh, never hated Cleveland. I, I never heard any backlash no. uh, about Cleveland. And uh, it did seem like, because I, I read an interview with him in, in 2018, and he said that he was trying to be as respectful as he could be, and it was his character. He created Cleveland. Mm -hmm. But this Disney mandate, I think, is what got him fired from his own creation, because they own Fox now. So they I'm just, sure it is. I'm sure yeah. this is Disney. Um, this is Disney just being freaking, this is like their smoking ban. You know, we're, we're not going to let characters smoke, even in R-rated movies, but we'll let them you know, blow each other's heads off that, That's fine, but you can't smoke. Yeah, you can't smoke. Uh, Corn Horn, thank you. Geeky, we gingers need to stick yeah, together. Yeah, power to the gingers. Anyway, um, is, there, is, that, is that what we got for now? Okay, there's I'm one thinking... more. There's another one down there. And then uh, we're going to talk about some other stuff, too. Um, keep it right there. Oh, okay. Key, key blade, thank you. And here we thought 2020 was going back to normal. This is... I don't know what to think. Because things were sort of headed for normal. And then all of a sudden, we got, like, one big push of... Oh my God, insanity. Like what is going on within the last couple months? It's just like, 
Okay, now every every complaint we've had since 2015, let's just ramp it up to 11 this year and see what happens. I think what's going to happen is a lot of these companies are going to go broke. Because well, Hollywood's running know. out of money. Uh, Josh Leak, thank you. I got He-Man, the complete original series last week. Hopefully they didn't change anything. I'll let you guys know because uh, nothing is safe. But that's it. You don't know anymore. They keep changing things. Uh, Dave Welsh, will they revoice the original Lion King? I don't know. Worry about because Matthew Broderick, you know, he's like literally the whitest guy on earth. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know how, dare saying, like, how dare he? How dare he? How dare he? Because obviously, if it's a lion, it's it's, it's a black person. Um, clearly, uh, John Krupp, it's the death of everything. Stop listening. Exactly. To Twitter. Um, but you know, here's the thing. It's like this is getting ridiculous, and then so this is like one of the rumors that's going on. This is about the voiceovers. I haven't even got to the place where they're going to change all these attractions now. Oh yeah, we'll we'll talk about Splash that. Splash Mountain's too. just the beginning, apparently, which we're going to talk about that in a moment. And the parks, uh, what, what's going on with the parks as yeah. far as being open? Uh, Tim Whitfield, either of you recall seeing the sitcom Dinosaurs? Yeah, yep. most depressing ending ever. Most depressing. Don't ending ruin ever. it in case someone wants to see yeah. it. Yeah, David uh, Welsh. What happens to the royalties that replace actors? I'm assuming they get their checks for the time they were on the show. Um, but if they, if they, if it actually goes full on crazy and they go back and they, they redub movies and stuff too, then I, I don't know what happens because every release going forward will have the new audio track. Yeah. You know, can you imagine, can you imagine them going back and just redubbing? I mean, what are we going to do? Take Robin Williams out of Aladdin? That or not. I um, mean, real what? quick before you read some more comments, somebody asked about what we thought about the new princess bride thing on Quibi. Oh, oh my God. Bullshit. I, why? I'm like people didn't want the, they didn't want Disney to remake the movie, but they're gonna they're gonna go with this. I think that's just stupid, and they're just desperate for hits. Anyway, um, okay. Do I have anything else you want to read? Do we miss anybody before I start going on about my um, other shit? Oh, Sorry. hold on. We got Jonathan. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, Jonathan Rodriguez again. I got um. I have fired from Queen of the South because I uh f d d Cobra. They follow. Oh, because I follow. Oh, oh, Jeremy from Geese. What? Seriously? Oh, that's some bullshit. Okay. Well, well they kicked well, him off of Twitter. It's getting it's getting this this way. And here's the, okay. So beyond the fact they're going to this is a new rumor that they're going to redo all these voices because you know uh, it's apparently bad. Um, and I hope if there's any characters that are, are voiced by other ethnicities that aren't the ethnicity. They change all that too because otherwise it's a bunch of bullshit. But they're going to change attractions too. So apparently there's a committee. Yeah. Uh, again, this is a rumor. It's coming from uh, yeah, WW Pro, and apparently it's post eleven. Okay. Go down to post eleven where he talks about it because people yeah. were bringing this up again. He's like, I told you guys this, and you didn't believe me. Yeah. He said there's a committee, and it's highly secret, and revealing who's on it would likely reveal my two sources due to few, a few how few pe many people know about what's yep. going on at the committee. Okay. I can tell you it's a pet project of Iger set up by Susan Arnold, opposed by is it Zina Muka, Z and Zina softly Muka. opposed by Josh Jamara, which we heard before Josh yep. Jamara's opposing it. He's trying to delay Splash Mountain changes so more people can get to ride it one last time. But throughout this thread, they talk about other things. Apparently, the Country Bear Jamboree is a problem. The Jungle Cruise is a problem. The Haunted Mansion is a problem because there aren't enough black ghosts. Because, you know, blue ghosts aren't enough. Uh, we think what else is on there. Hall of Presidents. And when people ask what was wrong with Hall of Presidents, they said because some of the presidents were slave owners. Yet Disney has absolutely no problem spending the money that has pictures of slave owners on it. Um, they had, oh, there's a bunch on their list of, uh, Carousel Progress is bad, uh, et cetera, et cetera. We'll go through, yeah, we'll we're find gonna, it on here in a minute. We're going to go through, hey, Michael Hanley, thank you. Have you, have you are you interested in the mod? Yeah, I think we're going to need one eventually. Esme Ellis, uh, anime is in the chat and they're very good. I'll have to hit them up. Um, Zalthriz says, I'm, uh, Zalthriz. Hello, Neon Geeky Sparkles. How are you? We're fine. We're okay. We're a little, little salty right now, but we're okay. I uh, hope you're doing well. It's splendid that you're live streaming again. We try. We don't get too much time to. Uh, Gelf Walker, Ron Toy is going for round three with Ken Jennings at the moment on Knuckleheads channel. It's a crap fight. Geeky, you should rant his head off. Um, he's one of the voice actors. Well, I'm actors. good at ranting heads off, so. Yeah. Um, and uh, Uber, Uber Winfrey. 
Did you hear that Democrats in California are trying to repeal the Civil Rights Act from the Californian Constitution? Oh, my God. Making it legal to discriminate. They're calling it affirmative action. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So you shouldn't discriminate against anybody unless they're the one discriminating against people. And this is, that's what this is bullshit. Because, you know, most people, I would say the majority of people, are, are, are not racist. They're not sexist. They're not phobic. They, are, they, they accept people. They don't really care. Yeah. Um, but these people can't stand it. They have to constantly drum up and, and, and stir up shit. To, to just keep people divided and it's a load of crap because most people aren't like that and most people aren't going to discriminate against people but it's okay if you discriminate against us because you know well that's what's, going, that. that's what's going on here we've got we've got uh, forces trying to divide the country um i in my opinion eric says thank you didn't have to do that i i had to do it because i love hearing your rants and the world would be better off without twitter and disney yeah they almost bought each other it's like a freaking yeah disney was gonna buy twitter shit. and they didn't because they said it was too toxic and then they listen to Twitter. I uh, already have my DVD song in the South, says Barbecue76. Thank you, didn't have to do that. Gave away my VHS copy of Blazing Saddles. Now I'm looking for a DVD of that. So much to add, but thank you for both for being rational. Thank you. We're trying. Uh, to yes, be. I did have to do it. Thank I you. think most people are rational. That's what the kicker is. They can't control people, so they're trying to go to extremes because most people aren't the people they like to scream about. Yeah. And of course, as soon as they announce Song of the South, or Song of the South, uh, Splash Mountain being changed because of Song of the South, mm. people were upset because they didn't want it changed. And immediately, if you had any opinion of, so of a Splash Mountain other than you should change it, you are a racist. Just like when they changed the Pirates of the Caribbean auction scene. If you had any opinion other than, yes, it should be changed, you're a sexist misogynist. Some some crazies want to censor chess because black goes Oh uh, Yes, I have heard that. That's real? Yes, it's real. Are you freaking kidding yes, me? Yes, it's real. Oh, my God. Um, Adam said, well, where'd Adam go? Where'd Adam go? Where'd you go, Adam? There we go. How can Disney pay for this stuff and make donations for millions for social justice causes, uh, but they can't pay their workers at all? Yes, Plus, that's uh, a good question. Money. That is. That's, they, they have all this Take money. care of your cast members first there, Disney. Uh, Juiciest Lemon. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. I'm mean, anti-diversity because it encourages valuing people on what they are instead of skill. Who cares what color sex Steve is as long as he can get it done? We, we agree. I think people should be hired on merit. I mean, That's meritocracy. Were, that should be, yeah, you know, it should never be based on, you know, any of those other things. But uh, go ahead. What are you going to say? Uh, Nathan says, my thing is why assume people of color talk a certain way? That is a good point. Yes, very good point. Do people expect people of color to act a certain way just because they look at stereotype? Again, um, Rainbow Bright was a black girl back in the 80s nobody knew nobody cared but these people that's all they're doing is stereotyping as we pointed out before uh we have she-ra the the frost has ice power so of course she's an eskimo we have the new um gi joe movie coming out with snake eyes snake eyes was always blonde hair blue eyed he was you know caucasian that's bad because he's a ninja and of course if he was a ninja he'd have to be asian so then snake eyes is now asian because otherwise it's racist but by, they, by them doing that they just were racist and stereotyping it, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, you can't even make this crap up. I know. I, I, I just... I, Can you go see what the list is? I think people were talking yeah. about it on here. Okay, we're going to go... You might hear the dog barking because he wants in the room, and we told him no. Okay, okay here's some of them. Here's a recap from ones they were mentioning. Splash Mountain, American Adventure, uh, Hall of Presidents. Oh, what's... Okay, they have Peter Pan's Flight. Okay, because the Indian scene. What's? I'm trying to remember what these are. Uh, uh, it's a small world. It's a small world's one. Hoopty do. I don't know why Hoopty do is on there. Uh, um, I guess some of the jokes are too too body, and they oh no, they string a guy up. Oh, okay. Well, it's been yeah. years since I've been there. Okay, what's CBJ and COP? I'm trying to think about my on, on the spot with. Well, uh, usually country no, bear jamboree. Oh, country bear jamboree. What's the other one? Uh, Carousel progress. <laughs> Carousel progress. I had to yeah. think on the spot, and my head's like freezing up. So those are the ones that we know of. Jungle Cruise isn't on there, but now there's a call to to redo Jungle Cruise. Um, a lot of these they're just they're pushing for. It, it, it's just everything is a problem now. I figured what I saw the other day, and I was like, how is that a problem? And they were pushing for that to be changed. I forget what it was, but it was something stupid. I don't remember. Uh, but it was dumb. Crimson ID4, thank you didn't have to do that. Uh, you know, say what you will about the live uh, Kim Possible movie. It's a miracle they were able to cast an actual redhead considering how That is a now. very good point. Something definitely went down uh, in the last week or two where they put this. But this does seem like it was one of Iger's. Because I can tell you, the Splash Mountain thing, that's been in development for a while. Yeah, yeah that I, I do. I, I will say I know that they but they that rumor has been going around many years before. This. Yeah, they look when they even developing Splash Mountain, 
there was controversy within Disney. Like, do you, do you really think we should be making a making a Song of the South ride? Right. Uh, in 1986, 89, you know, when they started working on it. And yeah, so um, I don't know, guys. This is this is Disney's going to try to retcon every damn thing. Um, you know, again, I can see going forward uh, being like we're going to be more sensitive about and stuff. And Elvick brought up a good point, a very good point. Meanwhile, Disney will be happily bend over to erase the downplay, the race and downplay black people and gay people for China. Yes, they do. And they will, they will better, yeah. they're right, they will better backwards to the Chinese market and they'll make changes of things for the Chinese market. Heck, they were going to be kissing there. They didn't want to do it because it, it could be so, it could be assumed that, because I guess, uh, was it, uh, Shang was they, some people thought he was gay because he liked Milan as a guy oh, right, too and stuff right. and that would be problematic so we can't have that um it, it's ridiculous Molly wants to know why Peter Pan's flights on there because of the Indian uh, scene which has been controversial since the 50s but has not been excised from the movie yet give them time uh Disney is gonna they're gonna Disney's gonna have a uh like a uh, one of those push brooms behind them everything they do two weeks ago is problematic that's right so we're just gonna you're clean. never gonna keep up with it yeah it's gonna be like snapchat they're gonna put a movie out and then they're just gonna delete it right after that Thomas Williams Geeky Sparkles is a black girl on another channel she sounds just like you so she could actually play you well there you go you can cast her as me that's fun works for me I have no problem with that um, what else are you going to read? Oh, about as far as the parks closing. Okay, go ahead and read that first, and I'll talk oh, about... Oh, no, we got... Go ahead. I think, I think, I think I'm caught you up. You got up? Okay. Yep. So now, what we know about the parks closing. As of now, Disneyland is has no opening date at this point. It was going to be open um, on the 17th of July, but now because of agreements with the unions and safety concerns and the fact that there's no guidelines for wh- what they're going to you know, do for the state... Uh, that won't be out until the 4th of July. They don't have an opening date. And plus, yeah. a lot of cast members were protesting it because they didn't feel safe going back. So that was going on in Disneyland. They yeah, are I, opening Disney, the downtown Disney on the 9th. What were we going to do? Oh, no. I think I had... No, I okay. Up there. So that's that. Now, Walt Disney World. Okay, here's, yeah. the, here's the opposite problem. So the cases in Orlando are going through the roof. They're breaking records every day um, of, of positive cases. Um, now, on the Orange County Economic Recovery Task Force meeting, they are blaming it on the bars. I guess mm. apparently they were saying that a lot, there was, there's a, they can make a, a co- correlation between a lot of the cases that are going up and a lot of the bars because they weren't requiring masks. And I guess they can draw direct lines to there. Um, so as a result, the state has turned around and shut down uh, drinking on premises in bars. Restaurants, they'll allow, to, uh, some, some restaurants are closing anyway, so I don't know what's up with that. But restaurants are supposed to be allowed. Kiosks in Disney are allowed because you can take it and go, but you can't mm. actually sit down at a place and drink. That's what they did so far. Um, do you want to read that or can I keep going? Keep going. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Now, the state keeps saying they are not going to close down um, Walt Disney World, and they're saying they're leaving it up to Walt Disney World. And Walt Disney World, of course, isn't closing down because they don't want to lose the money, and they're afraid their stocks are going to drop and the people are going to be pissed off because we already had the fact that you couldn't book your... You had to have special uh, park pass reservation to even get into the parks, and that was a whole cluster and a half. It didn't work, and they blamed it all on user error instead of the fact that their websites are shit. And there's going to make people matter if they cancel, so they're not canceling. But now uh, cast members are really worried and upset, and they're protesting because they're concerned that people aren't going to follow the rules. And they mm-hmm. said it, it, that even if Disney does everything right, that that doesn't guarantee other people ca- guests coming in are going to follow the rules. Yep. And so it could still get people could still get hurt. It, it's a big long thing, honestly. It, I don't go to Disney anytime soon. They, Disney World should shut it down for a little bit longer just due to the fact that there's such an increase and they're breaking records every day. Yep. Uh, I think just for the safety of, of everyone, they should just you know temporarily postpone it. But I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, you think they might. I think they will. You think they might? Um, uh, they might or they'll open up briefly and then shut back down again. That, that's my personal opinion. I've been talking to people. They said it's definitely being discussed. They just don't want to they don't want to give up the uh, the money they've taken for trips this year. So, so, yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I know that uh, people are upset. I know that the, the, the face characters, the, the aqua, actors' equity group that represents the face characters, the ones that, you know, do the, the shows and performances, mm. they were concerned because they, the, their, their people can't wear masks. Um, what are they going to do to help them and everything else? And it's just a big old cluster. And basically, the state saying it's on Disney. Disney's not going to do anything unless the state mandates it. It's just a mess. 
All right. Uh, Vidlink says, watch them change the Haunted Mansion to the movie version just to be inclusive. I hope I the movie not. sucked. I like Eddie Murphy, but the movie was balls. They yeah. were supposed to do one with Del Toro. It would have been Yeah, don't don't change it. But they people were mad because they. And then here's the double standard. Here's the problem with that. So you put black ghosts in the in the attraction. Then people will be mad that you have dead black people. And you know that's what's going to happen. That's, that is a potential problem. But yes. you know the ghosts. You don't know what race they are. They're all flipping blue. But they're talking. They're talking about getting rid of some of the ghosts anyway. Uh, yeah. Um. Thank you. Didn't have to do that. Let's go see. We got a lot here to catch up on. Sorry, I, I was... apologize for that, guys. Uh, oh, thanks a lot. No, I wasn't throwing you under. <laughs> I apologize just... that she was ranting. No, I'm, I'm so get, sorry. I'm trying to get caught up here. Okay, let's see where we're at. Okay. How Midland. dare she? Uh, Rich Mister, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Curious if you guys could do a review of Wonder Woman versus Classic Sheer Death Though I haven't watched it yet. I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. We'd love to hear Geeky's feedback. <laughs> Well, I do think Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't know. I, they they had one. Uh, Wonder Woman won. won uh, ruined a people. I, I don't. I, <sighs> I think she. Look, if we're being realistic, I think Wonder Woman would win. Probably win because she's like a goddess. But it was like you know, it was it was. I don't know. I thought it was dumb. <laughs> I did. I just thought it was dumb. Here's the thing. In reality, if you you want to support strong female characters, they would join forces and kick everybody else's ass. Yeah. That's what I'd want to see. I want to see Wonder Woman and She-Ra. There you go. Together. Classic She-Ra. Not new She-Ra. Oh, oh no, I'm sure they're... Wonder Woman and classic She-Ra kick new She-Ra's ass. Perfect. Uh, I, I thought you said something else, because I'm sure that's on DeviantArt, where Wonder Woman and classic She-Ra are kissing... Oh, I'm sure that happened, new, too. Yeah. ...new She-Ra's ass. <laughs> I'm sure that is together. on um, <laughs> Random username. Oh, message retracted, but thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Wingers12, thank you very much. Didn't have to do that. It's Black Lives Matter, not only Black Lives Matter. Um, let me see. November Mine, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Let's watch the world burn. It feels like it. It feels like it. It's, um, you know, Squid King earlier today and was not doing yeah, well. Yeah, he was he's having, not doing ups well. he's upset because he said, he, I think he also lost in a game, which is another story entirely. Yeah. We lost a TV once that way. But he, um, he was very upset and he's just like, every day, everybody's mad and every day everybody hates each other and every day is just something else that you wake up to and 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 people are just so mean to each other yeah. and he said about it's like why is life life even worth anything at this point because everybody's just too busy being pissed at each other well, he didn't say that he said mad I'm, I'm i'm elaborating it's suicides are going up i mean it's not to get all like but it's 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 people no, you're are, not saying that you think to clarify no 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 God, no, 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 no but i'm saying i can see where people are getting hopeless, especially if you're in a city, you're trapped, you're living by yourself, you've been out of work for months, and it's nonstop negativity, nonstop um, anger, you know, nonstop issues. The news is like every day, like, here's the worst possible news we can give you. Life sucks, you know? Um, did you do this one? I didn't. Um, How many of these did you, did you I, do? I don't know. We got to them. Uh, Keyblade said that Disney is pulling the, the Disney Channel in the UK. Yes, I did know that. They were okay. already going to do that before. Um, actually. Um, Eric Thornson says, uh, thank you, you didn't have to do that. We should take a shot every time Disney shoots itself in the foot. Well, we they're, running out, by now. they're running out of toes. Uh, for sure, they definitely are. And I hope I'm getting everybody. Hold on here. Okay, we got Barney, Eric. Okay. Uh, Barney, the Spacesaurus woke. Reeks says, gonna talk about Dr. Disrespect in a future video. Possibly. I want to know exactly what's going on. Yeah, we have to look into that more because we don't really understand. Uh, I know that they dropped him. They didn't really give a reason last time I checked, but that might have been updated. Uh, okay, uh, Tyler Preston, thank you. Didn't have to do that. As an actual black person, I can tell you, we do not give a frack. All we want is yeah. good stories with good characters, regardless of race. Not that hard. That's what I was going to bring up, actually, before you did. I was going to say something like this. I was going to say most people, even the people that are, are different races and ethnicities and stuff, most people think this whole thing's stupid. And you know what? And it's not. You know, it, most people think that it, this, it, this whole thing is dumb. Was any? Because here's the thing. Like we follow animation. I follow a lot of animation fans on Twitter. A lot of those anime and animation fans are black folks. I don't remember anybody being terribly offended about this stuff until like two days ago. And even yeah. then, a lot of people are complaining. They're like, "It's stupid." Did you? Did you actually? Did you actually ask black people what they thought? Or did you just go by the, the, the far leftist white people on Twitter? Yeah, that's what, because uh, I'm like, I'm not getting the vibe that there's a lot of outrage about this. Even saw, even even Splash Mountain, I'm not getting the vibe there's a lot of outrage. Well, mostly because Splash, Splash Mountain has the characters from the stories, but yeah. it's not like the racist No, we just the took story. the characters. And they only did it to save money. That's, yeah, that's basically it. You know, and I'm not, look, 
I mean, individuals are individuals, but like I'm saying, I, I did not see a lot of backlash about any of this what? stuff they're changing. I'm wishing to God. I, there was a, an auction, and I was going to bid on an actual uh, sign from the from one of the Splash Mountain rides that had been replaced, and I didn't do it, and I'm regretting that fact now. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. You know, I might buy, I mean, we should buy the Splash Mountain sign, put it, put it in our house. We have the Thunder Mountain, but I meant a real one, like an original one. Remember I showed yeah. it to you and I wanted to bid on yeah. it? You told me not to. Damn it, I wish I'd bid on it. Well, the merchandise is going through the roof now. I used to work on, while well, we got y'all here, I used to work on um, Disney Comics, and I worked on many, many, many Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear stories, and uh, they never tied it to Song of the South. They were just funny animal comics, and they were huge over in the Netherlands, believe it or not. Uh, Jeff Hill. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. So you think it's possible that one day we can stop seeing uh, uh, studios stop with bending the knee with a cancel culture that we're living in right now and just go back to making really good entertaining movies? I'd love to. They might have to if they want to make money. This well, sounds we like we started to see it. We did, and then all this other stuff started happening. Then they hit the panic button, like, no, no, Nick. they're winning. Hit the button, hit yeah, the button. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Hit the it button, really the fans. We can't let them win. We can't let them win. This is a matter of life and death. Because the most important thing of all the shit going on in the country right now, the most important thing in the world is whether or not uh, a white actor is voicing a black cartoon character. That is the most important thing. Right, obviously. In the world right now. Uh, Mr. Rally D, thank you didn't have to do that. Whatever happened to having fun? I wish I knew, man. I wish I knew. Yeah. Why can't we just enjoy things? Animation, comics, movies are becoming so woke. Suffers from insomnia. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jake the Movie Geek, thank you. Thank you, you didn't have to do that you see you already <laughs> to it uh you did i got used to that because we didn't want people when we first started doing live streams and stuff because we were just doing this kind of on the side and we're like you know everybody's like you're just a bunch of youtube grifters you're just doing it for the money and we're like no we're not we're just doing it because we want to connect with people um but uh, so we kept saying hey thanks we don't well today we did the live stream because he just didn't want to edit a video because i'm lazy and that's the truth he didn't want to edit the video <laughs> i'm lazy i didn't want to edit the video <laughs> you're gonna take a day off and then we when this gonna, came up we're yeah, like, we Damn were it. gonna take a day off and our kids are mad uh they are um crimson 94 thank you didn't have to do that meanwhile in disney's boardroom so is racist to release Song of the South or to uh, tell prominent black actress Whoopi Goldberg no? I'm confused. Yeah, I don't get it either. Whoopi Goldberg, the very first thing she wanted when she became a Disney legend was, can we finally release Song of the South? Just put a so disclaimer. So we can discuss on. it. Let's talk about it. Just, you know, because hiding it, you still did it. Hiding yeah. it makes you look worse. Hiding it makes, and now they're, now they're not stopping with Song of the South. Now we're going to hide all the white voice actors that voice non-white characters. We're going to go back and re-record lines and everything. It's crazy. Um, this is just insane. Just, you know, move, do, move forward. Uh, Molly, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Struggling with mental health and depression myself. I'm sorry. Uh, so I get what you mean. Hope Squid King's okay. Yeah, us too. Yeah, well, I have anxiety issues, guys. I had to go back on my meds. I was off my meds. Yeah. Right before, I, like, I only take a very mild med anyway. I mean, like, they gave me a much bigger dose. It caused me headaches. I can be fine on just, like, a tiny bit. Um, my family has depression issues also, so I have to watch it. But I took, I stopped taking it, and then March happened. And, and for, ironically, I stopped taking it in March. Mm. So March came, and I just went back and got them again because I, with everything, I just, I just, nope, can't do it. Uh, just can't. And now I'm much better. So, uh, But we're going to perhaps take Squid King somewhere and talk to yeah, somebody it's... or something. I don't want to put him on meds. I'd rather not. But talk Because he's just, you know, and he's they hit these kids. And it's just kids in general. I was walking to the grocery store. And I saw little kids with masks on. And I kept thinking, like, what are they going to tell like, the stories they're going to tell when they're older? Like, they're going to tell their, their their kids about the time when they were little, how they had to wear a mask and everybody was wearing a mask. And how scary that could be for kids yeah. looking around. And all these people have masks on their faces. And how scary that could be. And I, I know my grandma used to talk about being a little girl in the Great Depression. And, and um, her mom was one of the ones that would give out the rations. And she remembers running her hands to, like, the rice and the beans and stuff. She wasn't allowed. They weren't allowed to have it. They had to give it all away. But she remembers running her hand through it and talks about that. And that's what I thought. Like, what are our kids going to, what kind of damage is going to be done to people in general, but, like, the kids especially um, in the next few years from this whole thing? Like, what tra trauma and things like that is going to come out of this? I think there's going to be some people. PTSD for people and I think it's gonna be like a tree like you can see when a tree's uh, had a drought or been struck by lightning by the rings mm -hmm. the years that grow I think there's gonna be a, a scar on all the kids some people, for uh, uh, decades they, they, they're missing out and that inter social interaction is important high school and I think for people and yeah. adults too and it's really hard when you're like holed up and you know you can't get out um, it's too dangerous to go out and, and you're just and you feel trapped and I think a lot of people are gonna have a lot of issues after this yeah they are and I think that people need to discuss it instead of burying it 
anyway, it, it's, go ahead. It's even when things go back to normal, it's not going to be normal for a long, no. long time for a lot of people, unfortunately. Um, okay, uh, Sneechless Games and Props. Thank you. Did not have to do that. Hey, Nyan and Geeky, I've been a subscriber for a while, but never got to make it to one of your live streams. We don't do very many. That's why. Uh, here's for all the times I missed. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Um, and thank so you for coming for to the live stream. Yeah, thank you for coming. This was not planned. It just kind of happened. Okay, make sure I got everybody. And if we don't always hit the show on the comments, it's not it's not on purpose, guys. It goes by so quickly, we don't always catch them I all. I need a better salute. Oh, we got a bunch more. Oh, my God. We're oh. trying. Uh, somebody mentioned uh, Parlay. We, we actually started a Parlay account. I don't know how much I'm going to use it. but We're going to try. We, yeah, we ha we're at Clownfish TV, at Geeky Sparkles, and at Neon on Parlay. Uh, I, I'm fully expecting it to become a dumpster fire just like every other social media platform give it time give it time it just hasn't been it's it, uh it still smells like new car you know speaking of smelling things so Wait, when we went to Smell? we went to uh pandora when it first opened it i think i've told this before but it's always funny and some people are new we went to pandora when it first opened within like a week or two of it opening we were at pandora um in the animal kingdom disney animal kingdom and it was funny because Neon kept going around and he kept sniffing the damn walls. And he's like, it smells like new construction. It did. It smells it like, smells like Lowe's. It smells like Lowe's. Lowe's, by the way, for those who don't know, is a, a like a, a hardware lumber type. Home Depot, ho but Home not. store. Yeah. And he was going around sniffing. So there he is walking down the queue, sniffing with his nose up against the wall, sniffing it going on it smells like new construction it smells like lowe's and our kids always remember that and they think it's a very entertaining story anyway continue uh picard 714 thank you very much uh you guys told our buddy squid king to be stout of heart and don't despair most people still have common sense and this too shall pass yeah it's hard for him he's in high school and he's basically like walked away from friends and and mm -hmm. he doesn't get it i that honestly much. have hope for their generation they're going to have to do I do. Because they'll look at this and they'll be like, we're not doing this again. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that went they're down. They're seeing all of this. They're seeing the ridiculousness. They're seeing the peak insanity. And, you know, I do have hope for some of their generation. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, Matt Deckard. Hey, how's it going? Hey, grifters. That's Keep right. up the good that's work. That's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. We're just, I love it. The Twitter's like anybody that makes any money for anything is a grifter. They literally, there are people on Twitter who literally think, uh, if, if you own a business and have employees that you're a grifter, that you're just stealing from your but employee. Then, these are the people that yell they want, they want socialism. They want free so stuff. They can have money, and that's not grifting. So it's not grifting when you put up a GoFundMe for your basic living expenses. But if you work a job or, or you own a business, you're a grifter. Uh-huh. Or you sell merchandise. Or if you don't grifter. agree with what they believe. I, I, I don't even, like, did you, do you have a dictionary? Can you afford a dictionary? Like, do you understand? You don't need one. You just go online. Just go online. You, use your phone that you can obviously afford. Yeah, you can afford And you can phone, afford to be on Twitter. You can afford to look up what grifter means. No, they need to start charging for Twitter. If they charge five or ten bucks a month, you would cut down about 95% of the idiocy uh 80s totally awesome thank you didn't have to do that sup ernest p Worrell used to cover Splash oh my god Mountain. ernest I, I know i remember that ernest was on the the, the special when they, when they when they opened the attraction and ernest used to do all those amazing movies i missed ernest i know r.i.p um darth vader was a white person p played by a black person. yeah i know but that's okay it's a voice change um you know it, that's fine it's you know but if it was the other way around we'd have to change that yeah, AL says her kids are dealing with this. I'm not trying to run past everybody. I'm just, I'm, I'm oh, no, it's just too many things going on. Too many on. things going on. We here, don't guys. come on here much, and then everybody's like, oh my God. Yeah, uh, CH, thank you to have to do that. It's a shame they're going to change Darth Vader's voice because Anakin's white. I, I'm somewhere where are they going to do that in Emperor's New Groove? There literally are no white characters at all in that movie. It's, it's white and black actors playing I mean, Incan characters. Right. Where, where are you going to get an Incan actor? A, a real Incan at this point. You know, how about, how about Hercules? I mean, it's really hard to find demigods, I hear. To, and yeah. gods. I think they're busy to voice the characters. I know, right? Uh, Ernesto, thank you, didn't have to do that. Growing up in Latin America, watching these cartoons, we never felt excluded. In the 90s, I watched reruns on Richie Rich and loved the movie. Richie Rich will be wiped from existence soon. Probably. He is very problematic. You know, we were talking about something like that the other day. We were talking about in the 80s. Everybody watched the Cosby show. Well, you know, I mean, Bill Cosby now is an mm -hmm. issue. But back then, everybody watched it. And, and they also watched Family Matters and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And everybody watched it. And no one thought anything of it. Like... I was when I was a kid. I used, I had my regimen of reruns, right? Because we had a local station that came out of Scranton, PA, and I used to watch all these reruns then on TBS. But like my favorite shows, Brady Bunch, What's Happening, Good Times. Mm -hmm. They used to run all these shows, and I I never thought anything of it. No, they didn't. You it was know, just like you I know everybody it. watched it. It didn't matter what race you were. Everybody loved the shows. They watched them all the time. I don't mind. Nobody flipping yeah, cared. I, yeah, I, and it's like you know why they're like they're they're, they're taking everybody back. 
decades with this bullshit. That, that is it. That's what's, what's, you know, and I get, I get moving forward. We think about uh, inclusivity and diversity more. I absolutely get that. But you need ret to retconning, retconning old stuff. You know, I mean, at some point, it's like, at what point do you just realize something's been grandfathered and, it, you know, it is what it is. It was a product of its time. Like Simpsons been on for 30 years, you know, uh, Family Guy has been on for 20 years. You know, the, the, yeah, it's it is what it is. You know, if they were going to reboot it, yeah, but it's like, come on, um, don't I mean, reboot it. I'm tired of all the reboots. Oh, make something new. Well, Disney owns it. Gosh now, sakes, so. make something new. Anyway, uh, go ahead. Shelby says, uh, "How long until Parlay is called right wing?" It's already, already happening. Call it, they're already calling it. They're already doing it. Um, even though it wasn't, it wasn't the start. But uh, I know that the uh, the guy that owns it is like, could we get some? you know liberals over here please to offset this because it's it's looking like it's we're it's moderate so we want to we're trying to do some offset i want a purple site that's great for people the, for the rational people that make up most of the country oh we're gonna start it okay we're gonna start a new app it's gonna be purple the red and the blue we're gonna call it throb <laughs> how many throbs did you send today i've been throbbing all day <laughs> uh, i see that I'm purple, purple message member. <laughs> i'm a purple member of throb <laughs> Hashtag, hashtag throb. Yeah, so that's for those of us who are, who are sitting on the fence here. We're, we're throbbers. We're yeah, that's right. Throb. And then you can heart throb. You could hashtag there you go, heart, heart throb. throb. I heart throb. There you go. Um, that's what they call the influencers, the heart throbs. Yeah. Anyway, okay, Any, you, you're missing oh a lot of things. God, oh, my God, you guys. God. We're trying. Okay. We're trying. Um, um, um. Oh, there's Karilu. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. How long? Okay. Uh, CH, uh, thank you to have do that. It's a shame that they're going to change Darth Vader's voice because Anakin's white. Yeah, I don't, I'm waiting for that. Uh, Kirilu, good to see you. I will forever hate myself because of something I didn't do in the past, leading to an experience that hurt me too deeply to recover from. Sadly, I think we've all been there. We've all been there. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. That's the reason I take med, the, the meds I take because if I don't, I beat myself up all the time about stuff. And it's like, I don't let it go. Like I play it over my head because I have anxiety issues and I, and I just beat myself up. But the meds, it's, I can not do that so much. Anyway. Uh, CH, are they going to get lions to voice Simba? That's right. Because they're teaching them to talk now, don't you? I am waiting for them to, to pull Matthew Broderick out of the cartoon version. They probably will. Because he is the whitest man alive. Uh, Robert Norman, thank you. You didn't have to do that. Tired of the PC crap. Ugh. It gets, just when you think it can't get any more ridiculous. It gets more ridiculous. Dog says, let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Slain Hope says, when I was a kid in the 80s, sky was brownish red because of pollution. I was sick all the time. Mm. The impression I left childhood with was adults are reckless and foolish. Um, our kids are going to be, they're going to be very, very different because of this, because mm -hmm. of everything going on right now. Uh, Steven Seal, thank you. You have to do that. I love the little dancey thummy pair. Thummy pair. Um here imagine what they're trying to do a movie about ancient sumerians yeah i don't know yeah, you can't you're not allowed you're not, to now you're not allowed to uh blaze 409 thank you didn't have to do that i am a black man who sounds white i don't get why they have an issue with black characters voiced by white voice actors uh i don't know like i said there were several characters when we were kids that i didn't know for years that that black actors were doing the voices because no one cared nobody cared can you can, are, no one can, still cares let's be honest real in reality <laughs> so... in reality other than some some Karens somewhere up in Hollywood at Disney or whatever. Nobody's cared. I'm not seeing petitions. Maybe I'm missing them, but I'm not seeing petitions of people saying, Hey, you got to shut down Cleveland. You got to shut down this. He even said he didn't interview just a year and a half, two years ago. The guy who does Cleveland, Mike Henry is like, you know, they asked him, they said, do you get pushback for this? He's like, no, everybody knows I do Cleveland. He's like, nobody cares. Someone said care. the Flintstones have to be voiced by actual cavemen. That's right. I know. Captain Caveman, especially. Mm -hmm. uh, is he an actual captain? Nobody wants to... Uh, I mean, this is ridiculous. This is this is going to hurt everybody. It's going to hurt everybody. And whatever good intentions you have, there's the, the blowback from this is going to be... There's either going to be less cartoons because they might be like, oh, hell. Because, you know, cartoons right now was great because of coronavirus. Animation productions were still pushing forward but now studios might be like yeah we're not gonna do a cartoon because we got to go through the whole casting thing now and and then we got you know somebody somewhere that's got to vet all the actors well you know after sure. that it's gonna be something else as soon yeah. as you get through this one it'll just be another thing you know it's gonna be something else that we got that one worked out we gotta whine about something else now it's a never-ending cycle so the only way to win is to not play yeah cody carson thank you didn't have to do that you'll have to fight 
uh, to the end for this. Now, here's the funny thing. We actually pitched a show to Disney about five years ago, mm -hmm. had a black lead. We did. Um, we're not black. We're not black, but we, we had a black lead because it made sense in the context of the show because what we're the story we're trying to tell and, and all that. And, uh, you know, now they'd be like, you can't do that because you're, you're white. You can't make black characters. You know. I think the girl we got the voice for because we couldn't see. I mean, it was from places. She's Polynesian. Yeah, she was. Yeah. <laughs> she's, so, she, she was great. And she was a professional voice she actress. She is. Too. She's, she does. I forget who. who uh, she was really sweet. League of Legends. She's in League of Legends. She's one of the characters in yeah, League of Legends. And, she, yeah. and, and that's what she's we hired. She's very cool. She was very excited. She's like, she did, she did the part. She read the part for us. And she did a great job. And she's like, this is for Disney, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah. And you know what? I can't talk about it. We can't yeah. talk about it. I'm so sorry. But she did a great job with the, the demo. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, Disney passed on it. They passed on the opportunity. That's okay. To have. A, a, it's our plan to bring it. We're going to bring it to, to, to YouTube. Hopefully. We're going to bring it back. Or in, into comics or something. Is yeah, that we're going to do something with it. Um, Corin Horn, thank you. No more uh, dragon movies. We don't do dragons. Yeah, there you go. I'm black and I watch Full House and Friends. Yeah, yep. like I said, I, What's Happening was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Yeah, because, you know, because most I love people Rerun. don't he was care. Awesome. Go ahead, keep going. We've we, we got a lot of comments. Well, rerun. He he went to to cult like Scientology, and they were like worshiping cabbages or something. My cabbages. Yeah, but he was great. I loved him. But then I heard he was like he had issues in real life or something. I don't know. But he they could dance. Do. Anyway, he could dance for a, for a fat guy. He could dance. Pretty hey, cool. I I okay. Being fat doesn't mean you can't move. I know. Because I am quite I am quite flexible for my size, and yeah. I can move. So. Yeah. Um, I used to be a gymnast, that's why. <laughs> okay, uh, Unrepresented says, bring back silent animation. I agree uh, with you there. Thank you for that. Uh, Daniel says, I enjoy your vids so much. Thank you for making them the streams, though. I watch for the house in the butt. Oh, hose in the butt. Hose stories. in the butt! <laughs> Um, watch, okay, you want some creepy childhood stories, go watch our latest Animal Crossing video on Clownfish TV Gaming, that's Why? a separate channel. Do? I talked about the time we, uh, the neighbor kids found the severed head in the woods. Oh my god, that's a true story. During an Animal Crossing gameplay video. So I'm like, you never know what you're going to dig up in the backyard. Yeah, it's true, that's true. It is a true story. The, true. the neighbor kids found a severed head in a well, coffin. Well, you don't ruin it because then they won't go watch the video. Go watch the video on Clownfish <laughs> TV Gaming. Go watch the video, but let me tell you the whole story so you don't. That's not the whole story because it was freaking weird. Um, they found parts of him all over. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm going to represent Bring Back Silent Animation. Thank you. We got that. We got that. Am I getting everybody? I hope we got everybody. Um, it, I'm, I'm looking here. Uh, did you get, did you, are you going down? Actually, Neon sounds black. Everybody thought he was black. Everybody thought he was. How dare he? How dare you sound black, you, you, you jerk? You need to sound like a white guy. <laughs> Is that cultural appropriation? I have no control. I'm just very tall. You know what? And I got big vocal cords. I'm, I'm. Oh my god, did you guys see the other day when AOC said that, that Hispanics are black people? Oh my god, I, <laughs> I about fell on my chair. I'm like, you <laughs> his stepdad, his stepdad's Hispanic. I'm sure you, your stepdad would love that. Yeah, my stepdad's Hispanic. I got two half brothers that are half Hispanic, and I'm sure my stepdad would appreciate uh, you know, finding this out because he never knew. Mm -hmm. He never knew that he actually was black, according to AOC. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go. So <laughs> did you get everybody's comments? I don't think, I think you I did. did. No, wait, wait. Did I? Did, did I don't think oh, you no, did. Oh, no, we got another one coming up. Hold on. Uh, Ivan, thank you. Didn't have to do that. I swear everything is going backwards. Yes, it is. We're going backwards. Like we were we were we were uh, uh, further ahead, I think, in the 80s and 90s than we are now. Um, they've got the most bigoted people I've ever met in my 20 year old life. Dude, I've been around twice as long. And Ernesto said that Hispanics have a little bit of everything, anything. I, that's, that's true. That, that's that's true, true for most people, though. If you do the, the, yeah. the, the DNA ancestry stuff, I'm like part gypsy people. You know, I'm part like, Northern Africa and all kinds of stuff. And I am like the palest person you all see. I mean, I look at the sun, and two minutes later, I look like a lobster. So, um, anyway, did you get this one? Where Shelby said, did we oh, ever pitch a show that. again? Uh, uh, yes, we would pitch a show again. We have open invites to pitch shows in several several places. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, There's that show. one. Yeah, we're going to. It's complicated. Um, I think the we're best. Working on some stuff. Yeah, the best way now I think is to, to make a name for yourself on YouTube, and then let them come to you. Because if you go to them, you, you got to play. Hey guys, role. if you're out there and you want a show from us, please let us know. I mean, if you're like one of the people that are in charge of you know doing shows, continue. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Elbuck said, I love so many black shows as a kid. That's it. I didn't care. It was a sitcom. You know, I didn't give you a shit. You need to watch sumo wrestling. Okay, then. Yep. I have I have watched sumo wrestling before. Uh, Nicholas Horton says, the lead character in Amphibia is black, and she's also voiced by a non-black actress. That will change according mm -hmm. to this Disney policy. Yeah, then. so it would have to. I thought she was Hispanic or something. I don't know. 
I saw it before, but it's been a while. Okay, so you did you get everybody? We don't bounce up and down when we're live. No, our bouncing days are behind us. No, actually, bouncing that's because days are it's just an overlay on the OBS. <laughs> um, oh, Barbecue76, you need to check your privilege. Can't believe how insensitive you are. Uh, why can't you understand the suffering of the other side? Seriously, seriously stay sane. Uh, thank you again. I was going to say, that's that's an awfully, well, awfully expensive insult, but thank here's you. Here's the thing. I think most people understand other people and, and and can you honestly say you understand everything someone goes through hell no no nobody can nobody can nobody can. even if you're the same race same gender everybody's personal experiences are different right you know? it all it all depends on you know what your environment and different factors so no one's going to have the same experiences no matter if you're the same race gender sexual orientation whatever um religion etc and here's the thing like when you when it's us if you see us someplace we are never going to judge you based on any of those factors if you know what we go by is Unless you're our, a dirty hippie <laughs> i was gonna say what we go by are we just look at people and be like are you an <laughs> asshole sorry. if the answer is yeah. no we'll get along great i mean if you're an asshole in the fact that you're sarcastic and funny we'll still get along great but if you're just a mean nasty pants asshole then we probably won't get along very well and i'll probably up telling you off it'll be a whole thing you know that's why if i had met neon in high school we wouldn't be married because he uh, was a nasty pants asshole then I not was. in a racist way just he was just really hated I was, life I was, and i, I would have told him off and we would not be here our kids wouldn't be here um but he chilled thank god yeah i got i'll tell you i got i got humbled by life i think is what happened to me um i got humbled so i, I had a really rough couple of years uh, uh you know late teens early 20s and then i, I kind of came homeless for a while i was stuff. i actually was homeless i was actually homeless for a while check your um, privilege yeah check my yeah my your privilege when you're homeless when you're homeless um so yeah the waltman 4 thank you didn't have to do that wait for gaming the gaming world's rise of skywalker moment that's the last of us 2 i think um Mr. Or was that the that last jedi moment yeah i don't know well We'll see. It was <laughs> when they they try to backpedal and it blows up in their face. Mr. Rowley D, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Is it possible for an ordinary Joe like me to sell their screenplay post COVID? Uh, a serious question. Um, it's possible for anybody to sell their screenplay. It is harder because there's a lot of hoops to jump through. But I think now I have to think with all the streaming sites and stuff. I think that they're a little more. I could be wrong. But I, I think I, you have a better chance now than you ever had. Yeah, I think the the rules have been relaxed a little bit because with the studio system, it was very gate kept, and I'm seeing people kind of sneak around the side door now and getting right. Gigs. But what I would warn you about is make sure that you do anything. You have a lawyer. Yeah. Because the you might end up signing away things that you don't intend to sign away, and if you do get someone to look at your stuff, now I'm going to tell you sometimes it's hard to get stuff looked at unless you have someone representing you. Uh, but that happens no matter what. But if you do get through, definitely have someone check over anything that you agree to because they will definitely screw you over. I'm just letting you know up front. I okay. mean, just... I what? missed I missed a super chat. Uh, Myra says, I'm sorry, go further back. You're missing a couple of We're chats. Trying. Jake says, you're missing my chats. Let me see. Sorry, guys, there's just see, so let me many. See, let me see, let me see. Where am I missing? Okay, Here, we got... Here, I'll look. You, 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 seven, six. I haven't bear... Oh, I'm trying. Uh, oh, wait, here's someone... Crim wait, these ones are... Where are we at? Um, oh, Jake, okay. Jake the Movie Geek. Gotta make Jar Jar a black alien to validate uh, Ahmed. Ahmed, bed. Uh, Ahmed. Ahmed Bed. Who's Ahmed Bed? Ahmed, Ahmed Best, Best, who I actually like him uh, quite a bit. Um, okay, so Hose in the Butt story. Uh, <laughs> well, you guys have a picture show. You're working on some stuff. Do we miss any more besides Hollywood that? Hollywood hates us now, anyway. <laughs> Is it afraid of us? That's what we've they heard. They do. That's what we've heard. We've actually heard that like the animation industry is like legit. Okay. Like, if we missed it, we're not sorry. Because I, I, I'm going back and I'm not seeing it. I'll go Just forward. Just tweet at us to get a tweet at us or whatever at us. Um, but thank you for that. Will they redub Samurai Jack? I, I guess people were asking Phil Lamar on Twitter and he was like dodging that question. That's like his best known role, too. Yeah. You know, like one of his best known roles. Can move to Japan to escape the stupidity. Well, they're trying to take over Japan, too, man. Okay, where know. are you at? Um, Matt Deckert. Okay. Hey, here's see. some more over here. Did you get these oh ones? Oh, my God. Okay. Guys. There, you're right there. Okay, I think that's where you're Is at. Is this where we're at? Okay, hold on. Okay, go further back. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the Unrepresented, thank you. Uh, this SJW never played with a puzzle other than Candy Crush. When they see three of a kind, they want to take it in real life and group by colors. <laughs> Pretty uh, much. You know, but when you get three of a kind, they disappear. 
See, so Oof. that's the problem. Uh, Daniel says, I was once called racist by a white American girl against Hispanics and Portuguese, not American. Please tell me how that works. I love um, to know how other countries are always based, uh, they're always judged by American politics. People, from, just, um, how many people in the chat here are from other countries? A and lot, and, and a lot you're people. still, you're still, you know, they, when you go anywhere, they automatically assume you're American and that your politics are the same as theirs. Yeah, that's a weird thing, isn't it? That's a weird thing because every, like how how narcissistic is that to how xenophobic is that to assume that everybody like everybody in the world is only seeing things in red and blue you right. know by american like i don't i couldn't tell you what the hell is even going on with brexit i've had people explain it to me i got friends in the uk i've had our daughter's best friends in the uk yeah, she explains it to her often. trying to explain i'm like yeah you know what i i don't get it and i don't really care <laughs> you know like but but meanwhile like america these these Twitter people are so obsessed with like this. Literally. Everything has to be in, in Republican and Democrat, right and left, and and that's not how it is for all the world. And it's absolutely bullshit that they make every they tell every, they expect everybody to to you know put everything in, in perspective that they understand, and they don't try to to understand other people's perspectives. Go ahead. What are you? Gonna oh, say? Art says life beat up Neon. It did. Life man. did beat up me. He kept trying to get in comics too. That's a whole other story. I, I got I got the shit kicked out of me. That's okay. I'm still here. I'm still standing. Uh, Crimson IE4, thank you again. I love how when Neon starts to go off about something, Geeky always comes in with to be fair, except when it comes to new Shira. That's right. <laughs> Dark Flame, there's nothing I did, fair. I did, though, do, do, did some to be fair when it came to Shira, though. I did. If you go back on those, I was trying to be fair, and I'd say, well, to be fair. Catra was fleshed out. I did. I did. I totally did. Anyway. Uh, she's getting fleshed out every night by Adora now. Um, yes, she is. Uh, Dark Flame 94, thank you. Hey, Neon and Geeky, did you see the recent Hull Blue about CH? CAH might be something for you to look into if you need a story. Uh, I will have to look into that. Murder Robbie, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean by the Birds of Prey screenwriter, but that's okay because she did Bumblebee 2, so that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Matt Deckard again, thank you. Two different outlets saying Princess Bride remake is a go. Oh, God, don't. They better, because people, the backlash to that was severe. I can't believe they... Okay, yeah, I can totally believe it. They're that stupid. Everybody, I didn't care what side you're on. Everybody was telling them not to remake that one. Oh, I didn't know Phil Lamar did the voice of Rams and uh, Final Fantasy Tactics uh, War Lions. Yeah, they did the um, uh, they did the remake for the, the PlayStation Portable. I have the iPad version, actually. I didn't realize because they have uh, cutscenes. I didn't know Phil Lamar did the voice of I didn't Ramza. either. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, he's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white kid. Yeah, how dare he? How dare he? How Except dare no he? one cared that he did it. He did a good job, so that's all that matters. Princess matter. Bride cannot be remade. They try, remember when they tried remaking the Rocky Horror Picture Show? No, you don't, because it aired, like, one time. Everybody's like, this is dog shit, and they never yeah. never aired it again. Um, oh, I missed your chat. Oh, you missed my chat, but that's okay. I did. I We're did miss your chat. I'm sorry. Mayra, you have to um, at me and tell me what you said, and I'll... I'll, uh, I will read it, and I, I do apologize. I apologize. Molly, um, thank you. Going to bed. So yeah, she was, it was late for her, so yeah. she told me Your fun me is before. wrong. Your fun is wrong. I'm from Great Britain. All right, yeah, I don't understand Brexit. I just know some people are salty. A lot of salty, salty people. Um, I'm from Poland. My ancestors were enslaved by Mongols and Russians. Where are my reparations? I was actually, my mom does genealogy, and my family was indentured servants, which is basically the same thing as the ladies, pretty much. And we were brought in to, to Barbados, and then we were sent to the Americas. Um, and, you know, we don't get any anything either. Also, our Jewish ancestors were enslaved, too, but that's another story. Uh, Crow, I work in the animation industry, and I love you guys. Thank you. Uh, we actually hear from a lot of people in the animation industry. Um, and it goes either one of two ways. Either they, a, a lot of people know who we are, apparently, um, and we're sort of like the dreaded, like, don't let Clownfish TV find out about this is basically what we're hearing. Like, oh, my God, don't let Clownfish TV find out. But the Dread Pirate Clownfish TV. Dread Pirate Clownfish TV, because uh, they freak the hell out if we find out. That's that's gonna be our new. Or they like us. It could be the way. Yeah, yeah. We're or like, hurry, tell them. They'll say something. <laughs> Actually, we have a lot of animation that's people come to what us. Happens. And they're like, we know you can say something, and we can't. Can and if we verify it? We will verify. Yeah, we try to. Verify. Um, if we can verify, we will say something. Oh, Myra um, said where. Myra said, "Why are people messing with my childhood?" I don't know. I don't know. Feel, you know. I feel you. Not that didn't come out right. We Alex know what Halo, you meant. Thank you. Uh, they're having trouble with Japan, though. Yeah, Japan's a tough nut. Uh, they're not going to get through. What's going to happen is these other countries are just going to tell America to go fuck itself. You know? Probably. I mean, like, America, the first time that we've heard that. Fuck you. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> like, 
Keep your damn dubs to yourself. That's right. America. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Okay, a Crimson ID4. Thank you. I wonder if the increase in agitation, depression, and anxiety. Ah, this is, yes. I wonder if the increase in agitation and depression is due to the fact that people can no longer smile or laugh due to the mask. I think it's the situation going on. I think the lockdown, I don't think people would have gone as crazy if it wasn't for the lockdown. I think, I really too, I, I think too, like you said about the mask, I think a lot of people, um, they need to see other people's faces. And even, you know, they might not realize it. It might be all on a like subconscious level, but you need to see like people smiling or people, you know, even they scowl at you or whatever. You need to see some kind of expression so you feel like some kind of connection. And I think that people having the masks on, it, it, it's, you know, it, it makes it harder. And I think it's it's a scary for a lot of people. Did I miss another one of Jake's super chats? Oh yeah, I did. There's a whole bunch. What is going on here? It's jumping. I'm missing the people. Why am I missing the people? Did I miss everybody? Okay, you missed, okay. Um, Alex Halo, okay. Uh, Robert Police, oh, I didn't see this, sorry. Um, I'm Robot Police, I'm sorry, I thought it was Robert Police. Robot Police. <laughs> I'm Robert Police, that's Mr. Police to you. <laughs> Possibly Dr. Police. Uh, I'm in pursuit of making unique projects that will make Apple and Samsung hella jealous and shock the world. Good, go Me you. shocked. I want to partner with Disney eventually. What's the best advice you can give? I don't know. Well, wait. They, Disney's not okay, the same. No, I know, but they do have a program that they part. That here, I'm going to give you a warning. I'm going to tell you something, but I'm going to give you a warning about it. They do have some kind of program where they, they go, I forget what's called off the top of my head. They invest in they invest tech companies. In tech companies. Yeah. And they do have a program where they do that, where they work with tech companies. Mm -hmm. The only thing I warn you about is it seems like after they invest in the tech companies, they think they own the tech companies. Mm -hmm. And it seems like then these tech things get merged into Disney as a whole, um, especially if it's successful. But there is a program. Do you remember what it was called? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's, it's something it's like, like incentive or it's like. Just look at it. It's like Disney Incubator Innovator, something like that. Disney Innovation. Innovator, something, like something like that. I don't know if it's still a thing, but they were they were injecting venture capital into like apps and tech related. But again, I think the, the fine print is they have first rights to, to buy. Whatever right. They come so up you with. have to have that look checked out. And that's always. I'm going to tell you right now. Anything you do with Disney, they're always going to have fine print like that. So always have a check by a lawyer. Yeah. Um, but. But, you know, that's what I would, I, I'd go look into that. If that is possible, I'd go look into that. Uh, Phil Lamar's Aquaman Injustice. I didn't know that. He's, he, he's everybody. Myra, uh, okay, why are they messing with my childhood? I'm going down here and Mr. Super Chat. Jake, I'm sorry. Uh, at me and let me know. I know I've read one of yours. I hope but They probably I, are adding and you're probably going right past it because you're I'm you're not trying to. Up. Everybody leave. <laughs> so we can. No, don't. <laughs> Get out. Keep reading the most. Uh, Crimson 94, way. thank you. I wonder of the increase in agitation. Okay, we got that one. Um, I'm trying really hard, guys, to see what's going on here. Um, I think I got. I think we're caught up on here. Uh, did you? Lens Quest, how can they not see this has always gone both ways? I can't imagine anyone other than Uncle Phil voicing Shredder. Yeah, I, I mean. It's it's been colorblind for decades. We're we're going backwards, man. It's time for the Simpsons to end. I agree. Oh, they're now too afraid of offending people. The Simpsons thrived on offending people. You can't have Disney own the Simpsons. I thought so, you were gonna say they throbbed on offending people because that would have been funny. But anyway, no, that's I'm that's our new at, social media throb. I, I don't see it. I don't know. I can't find it. Anyway, I'm sorry guys. We can't. We've missed a couple times. We're you, trying. You missed as me and okay. You missed a, a two dollar chat. Oh, uh, we're so sorry. You need to be a mod. Should I give her a wrench? I'm gonna give you a wrench to somebody. How do I do this? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Well, I'm a boomer. Okay, we'll figure it out later. I'm a <laughs> Dandy man, thank you. Two dollars didn't have to do that. Bart's a feminist. How did I miss a two dollar one? Um, I feel bad. This is why Sorry, we. Sorry, guys. I can't keep up. This is why. Honestly, oh, here we go. Uh, Robot police again. P.S. I love you guys. Uh, you rock, Texan. Thank you. Um. Okay. Japan loves some people. Shut Matt said you can mod him too. All right, I should. I know. We go. We go way back. I'll figure this out. We'll have to figure this out. We'll figure this out. We'll get some mods. This is a Disney accelerator. There we go. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Accelerator. Yes. There we go. I knew there was one. Yes, it was something like that. It was like yeah. So check that out because they work with different companies um on tech and then they end up using it in the parks, which they did with like the 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 VR you know things and some of the things they use for Imagineering and different things they've worked with companies for their apps and stuff like that. So definitely check that out. Um, okay, Private Halo. I missed one of his, too. How am I missing all these? They must disappear after a while. This is going to end up with lawyers eventually for the voice actors. I'm, you missed one of my super chats. I am We're so sorry. sorry. I am so sorry, guys. Uh, I am. Uh, princess and the Frog is a great movie. Yes, it is. My daughter loves it. Uh, Tiana is her favorite princess. Um, she was actually watching I'm it while we came up to start this. Ranch, ranch, ranch. Okay. Um, 
Daniel for uh, said thank you. I heard an artist saying in one of his streams that he was asked to do sketches two dollars a pop by Marvel. Sixty were gonna be trash just cause. What? That, uh, or is that for the cards maybe? For the yeah, oh, for the I can't I can't yeah. think of. There, I, it wouldn't surprise me. I know some of the bigger artists have have deals cut with Marvel and Disney. They're allowed to sell stuff. Um, I love you guys. Keep it up, says Steven. I think we're gonna wrap it up here pretty soon. I feel bad because I, I missed a couple. Um, Sorry, guys. We don't mean to. It's just that we get, like, inundated. Um, Alex Halo, I made a second oh, killer super no, chat. You missed. I'm, I'm so sorry, sorry. Alex. I am so sorry. I'll see if I can find it real quick, but I don't I'm trying it. Maybe you can on the, the iPad. I'm looking. Oh, here we go. Japan insults us over The Last of Us is great. Uh, Japan is insulting us. Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear producer was was roasting well, The Last hey, of Us because it's so, uh, it's so bad. All right. I think we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon, actually. Yeah, we're going to have to because we have other things to do. And we were doing this so we didn't have to do uh, editing of videos. And we told the kids we'd see them tonight. So, yeah, we did. We did. We did. Um, so thank you so much, everybody, for, for popping in. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I'm so sorry if I missed chats. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Love you guys. You rock, Steven. Okay, I think I got everybody. I feel bad. Now. Yeah, and make sure, like, you know, you subscribe or tell people to subscribe and see if we can keep moving up. Yeah, and check it out. Um, okay, so we got Clownfish TV Gaming. That's the gaming channel. We've got, uh, I'm going to be building up the Facebook more. I'm pulling, personally, I'm pulling off of Twitter uh, myself. Like, I'm not doing much Twitter now. Oh, hey, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Uh, Krasu Macha, thank you. Japan is hard to crack because they're a hardcore isolationist country and kind of against foreigners as well. In general, I know this. Um, I had some friends that were in the service, and uh, I know he told me he had a really hard time getting an apartment over there. They didn't want to rent to the foreigners, mm. to Gaijin. They didn't. They didn't do it. So he's like, yeah. He said, like, he's like, you would not believe the hoops I had to jump through just to get an apartment in Japan. Probably. And I was stationed in the military, and it, it was Okinawa though. That was you mm. know more rural. But he was like, yeah, they just really didn't like me. Um, all right, guys. All right. So we will talk to you guys later. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you so much. We don't care what race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, etc. You are, as long as you're awesome, you are welcome here. Yeah, that is true. Uh, that is a hundred percent true. Uh, you know, I just I just want to see fandom go back to being fun. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's Make hard. Fandom fun again. Yeah, you we say were. That, Cause that I'm saying I'm all right. Oh my I'm god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's, all right. it's too late. Just just even saying anything pro fan these days, they're like, oh my god, you must be. My Little Pony fans are all Nazis now, according to everybody is. If you're not, is they're Nazi. not them. You're all it's you're all ridiculous. Nazis. All right, we talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Oh no, Princess Bride, don't do that.